Danny Lampi with Lion Real Estate, empowering individuals and families with financial success through real estate. You may have seen signs like this or like this in your neighborhood. What is up with all these we buy houses for cash advertisements everywhere? Well, they come from private investors or investment groups who is looking to flip the purchase of their home for a profit. Typically, they pay roughly 10 or more percent less than the market value of the property. They will flip it after factoring in the financial costs of the uh, financial expenses of the materials and labor and then try to maximize the equity of the home in turn for profit. So a quick background is that in 2021 January, according to the NAR, the average median home price across the United States has increased by about 14.1%. That's quite a jump. In a rising market, it's much easier to earn a return. And so that's why you see that these uh, investors are buying in pretty much all types of neighborhoods and all sorts of homes sight unseen. The logic behind this is, well, they cannot flip it for profit. They can just turn it into a rental. For sellers or homeowners in this case, they may not understand how much equity that they're sitting on for their house. That's number one. Number two, sometimes sellers are in a binge where they might have been affected by COVID. Maybe their job is um, you know, putting pressure on them and they feel like they need the cash quick. And so once they see these advertisements who offer cash in hand in um, you know, a week or less, they might be tempted to go after taking their offers. There are, of course, pros and cons when working with some of these real estate investment groups. The easy part about, or the pros with working with them is that they're really easy. It's really cut and dry. You know, they basically can offer you your money um, sight unseen. Within a week to two weeks, you get the cash in hand. Whatever offer they give to you as a homeowner, you pay off your mortgage if there is one. And then whatever is left is basically your profit. Now, of course, the reason why they can pay you so quickly sight unseen is because they offer you a major lowball offer because for these investors there's of course the labor material costs the carrying costs for the for their loan and on top of that they still have to make a profit and so they are able to operate sight unseen because they just lowball the true value of a, a homeowner's house on the flip side working with a real estate professional such as myself there are pros and cons as well, because typically you do not get the, um, the, your money in hand as fast. Um, there is a marketing period, there's the transaction period, and so total, total ranging typically 30 to 60 days. And even in a really competitive seller's market, market such as now, I would still say conservatively 30 to 45 days to give yourself as the uh, homeowner plenty of flexibility. And so for somebody who really needs the money immediately, it's, it, it can potentially be beneficial to work with a sight unseen, we buy houses cash type of buyer. Um, and on top of that, when you work with one of those companies, typically you don't pay for a commission. However, on the flip side, when working with a real estate, real estate professional, even though the time timeline may take slightly longer and you have to pay a commission on top of that, typically for a homeowner, they're going to net the most into their pocket. So how do you know whether you should work with a real estate professional or with a private investor such as one of these cash for houses buyers? Well, that depends on what your um, house, uh, what your subject's property is going to be. Because basically, if your time is more important than your money, 
then you want to get rid of the headache as fast as possible. Such as if you inherited a house that you have no desire to keep in the out-of-state area, or you inherited a property that needs um, a great deal of repair in which you don't have the capital to come up out of your pocket. Or maybe sometimes you don't want to go through the hassle of having buyers uh, come uh, during open houses, during COVID, into your own domain. And in that case, having somebody buy the house sight unseen, netting less in your pocket could be a way to go. But on the flip side, anytime your house is basically newer, built in the last 15, 20 years, have no major repair, um, and your timeline can accommodate at least two months of liquidation time. Trust me, it's probably faster, but I'm just being conservative about saying two months. But as long as you can accommodate 45 days to 60 days of um, liquidation time for your property, going with a professional real estate agent is the way to go. Lastly, I want to put this warning out there because there are definitely scammers out there who operate in a very similar method. There are um, previous scams that has happened where um, instead of buying the house, these investors come in and they um, convince the seller to sign over the rights of the property to these groups so that they either lease it out to somebody else or somebody else come in and use the property when the seller is still stuck paying the mortgage because they signed over the rights, but not the ownership. And so that's something definitely to be careful. As a consumer, make sure that you do enough homework on these businesses before you partnering up with them. Because with a real estate professional, they are actually, um, the, you can find them in official database. Their background have been vetted. They have a brokerage that they're working for, a reputable company. Make sure that they have good reviews with positive experience from past clients. And for the companies that buy houses for cash, you want to make sure that they're legitimate before doing any businesses with them. Well, that's it for me today. If you enjoy my video, please subscribe and share the link. And let me know below in the comment section if there's anything else you'd like to talk about too. Uh, for next time. So um, that's it for me. This is Daniel. See you next time.